This intimidating beast may be a creature of our imagination, but it's not entirely a fantasy. There's already a super cat on the planet, and he's a giant. Sometimes in nature, accidents occur. A zebra mates with a horse, you get a zorse. And if a lion mates with a tiger, you get the liger. Lions and tigers are actually separated by about seven million years of evolution, but they still retain enough similar genetic material that they can interbreed. Lions and tigers will never meet in the wild. Their ranges don't overlap. But in captivity, there's no telling who's going to fall in love. This is Zeus the Liger. Zeus is a liger because his father is a lion and his mother is a tiger. He's a liger. He's huge. He is almost 900 pounds and over 11 feet tall. Zeus is nearly twice the size of either of his parents. This Bengal tiger is about 500 pounds, a fully mature male. He's got a large head, big bone structure, but it's dwarfed when you see this huge liger boy. His head is almost twice the size of this Bengal tiger's. It's so long from tip to nose here that you've just got an enormous structure. The width in these huge jaw muscles and these big bones just make him be an enormous character. You're a good boy. This is the tiger skull, this is a lion skull, and this is the liger skull. These guys can generate 400 pounds of bite force at the tips of their canines. I measured the muscle sizes for this animal, the leverage, and figured out that it can generate 1,000 pounds of bite force at its canines. In this sense, this animal is a living, breathing super cat. But a top predator like super cat needs speed as well as power, so is bigger always better?